Reality was so kind and sent me their new resin printer Halo 1. In the box was pretty less things but all that you need. Spatula, brush, user manual, power wire and one extra resin film. And printer itself. Everything was really well packed for shipping. After removing all this protection material we can power on this printer. And let's enjoy this nice animation for 10 seconds. So basically this printer is 100% pre-assembled. Only what we have to do is to attach the build plate and level this. Leveling this build plate is extremely easy. You just need to go to the settings, push C axis movement, then leveling. Oh before you do this you have to unscrew those 4 bolts. Now you can push leveling. It's time to take out your calibration guard. What is not included? I searched everywhere and I didn't find this nowhere. So that's why I am using this service card. When the C-axis has moved all the way down, tight those four bolts nicely and it's time to start printing. I sent the model to my printer by Wi-Fi. I really want to highlight this feature and I show you a bit later how I did this. But anyway, first time it got stuck at 99% for some reason. I restart the printer and I tried this again. And this time it worked nicely. Like you see on the preview we will print one gear because you are watching let's print video. The only thing now is to push start and we are ready to go. I almost forget to pour resin to the tank. Later. After three and a half hours later the first print is ready. Well not ready, the printer has done a nice job but we have to wash and cure this model. For that Creality also sent me their wash and cure station UV01. In the box where user manual, sorry I have difficult to say this word, power supply and everything that you need for curing process. There is nothing to assemble so we can get right into it. First we have to wash our model. How we do it we have two options. One is to wash the model when it's still attached to the boil plate or remove the model from the boil plate and throw this model into the basket. Right now I'm using the second option, but I will do it another way too a bit later in this video. So let's fill this plastic container with the isopropic alcohol and throw the basket with model in. My wash and cure station has only the Chinese language, but I know there is an English version also. But I got the translation from the user manual. Let's start washing for 5 minutes. Now when the washing is nicely done we have to take the model out. The plastic container has this lead, you can store this for next time safely. You don't need to change the isopropic alcohol every time, you have to change this when it's too dirty. The next step is air drying. I believe you actually can skip this part straight to the UV curing, but I will do this anyway. And now the final thing, UV curing. After 10 minutes this model is finally ready.
best gear that I have ever printed. Absolutely perfect. I cannot even imagine what type of projects I can do in this channel with this printer. We will print more, but let's speak about features. This printer has 127 times 80 times 160 mm boiling platform. It's not the biggest, but it's a pretty decent size for a resin printer. This printer has Wi-Fi. I show you this just in a second. And the LCD resolution is one thou I leave this on the screen. I absolutely love this huge 5 inch responsive touch screen and this user interface is just so simple to use. Let's take a closer look at that. This is the home screen. Here are two options where to go. At the left is button files. Here are all your models that you have sent by Wi-Fi all already existing ones. If you wanna start printing, just click on the model and you are ready to go. But I push back and again home screen. Let's take a closer look at the settings. First is parameter settings, probably the most important one. Here you can tweak your print settings. With the FTM printer you do this in a slicer, but with the resin printer you are doing this inside the printer itself. For example, bottom exposure time. This is for the first layer. You can choose here how long you want the UV light to harden the resin. It's really important setting to make model first layer nicely stick to the build plate. Nicely I mean not too loose and not too well also. And of course there is a tons of other settings. Light off delay, exposure time, bottom lifting distance, motor speed. By the way don't take those settings as an example. Those ones are more like fast printing settings. But okay what we have more? Cleaning. Like the name says you can clean the leftover chunks from your resin. When you push this UV screen will fully turn on. Leave this to work for around 20 seconds and then remove the cured resin. C-axis movement. We have already looked this one, here you can level your bed. Then system settings. You have to go here only one time. Oh no 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 no, I just finished editing this video and some higher powers from the sky wanted to make sure I see this video and look at that. You can update your printer firmware over here, what I won't mention in the upcoming 10 seconds. To connect your printer with Wi-Fi and change the language if needed. Next one you need also only one dime to connect your phone with printer. And service, here are Creality contacts. And this is pretty much it. For Slicer I'm using Creality own Halo box. You can do here whatever you need or want with your model. Scale up or down, add supports, etc. When it's done, hit slice and wait a couple of seconds. Now we have two options. The first is local. You can save this sliced model to your, for example, USB stick or external, which means you can send this model to your printer by Wi-Fi. Here is all your printers. I have only one. Click send and done. Be noted, the printer has to be turned on when you are sending the model by Wi-Fi. And here it is. Press start and now on the printer will do the rest. It's pretty long print so I go to sleep and leave this printer working overnight. Those are all the models that I have printed so far. Every single one turned out amazing. 
The biggest one looks great and detailed, but in my opinion, those small support pins ruined the print. But still, all those details look really great and I love it. Same model, but a bit smaller ones are printed with translucent green resin. I'm sure this is my absolute favorite resin on the planet Earth. For those two, I use only modeled supports. One is a bit shinier than other, it's because I clear coded it. Anyway, those two models are also so detailed, just amazing. I'm more FDM guy and looking those, hard to believe those are 3D printed. And this one, it's an external gear bump buddy. I will build this in the next video and I won't speak about this lot right now, but you see this is printed at the angle. This is because the surface area was really big and after somewhere between 50 to 100 layers, it's ripped off from the building platform and print failed. To solve this problem, I had to reduce the surface area per layer and print this at the angle. There's one thing more about what we have to speak, and it's really important thing. This printer price. In the US, it cost 269.99 or in Europe 219.99. It's an absolutely great printer with Wi-Fi and huge responsive touchscreen. Beginner friendly and decent size. If you are looking resin printer, doesn't matter what skill level you are in, this is the way to go. To make your work way faster, cleaner and easier, you really should consider about wash and cure station next to a resin printer. I hope you enjoyed this video or at least was helpful. And I hope Creality Halo 1 will be in your printer collection. But see you guys really really soon with the first project video this summer. Bye.